Welcome to Fruit Shoot. Thank you for joining us today. Today we will be talking about the killer vending machine. Who wrote this? It's supposed to be the vending machine killer. Welcome to our video on the vending machine killer, also known as the Paraquat Killer. This mystery takes place in Japan in the year of 1985 and surrounds the poisoning of beverages, mainly Oronamen C. This was the killer's most effective and main drink of choice because the company selling Oronamen C was experiencing low sales. Atsuka Pharmaceutical, the company producing the drink, launched a promotion that offered a free bottle of Oronamen C when another item was purchased from their vending machines. In Japanese culture, it is quite common for people to leave behind items in a vending machine that are not wanted. This set up the perfect scenario for the killer as the bottle caps during this time were no longer metal bottle caps, instead a cheaper plastic screw cap. This allowed the killer to tamper with the drink and add Paraquat to poison the consumer. Oronamen C was first created in 1965 as a nutritional carbonated drink containing many vitamins and is described as having a similar energy drink effect as Red Bull. Since its conception, it has maintained the exact same formula and logo, but has changed the bottle and cap composition throughout the years. Most notably, the change from metal bottle caps to the screw-off cap. This meant that the bottles were no longer resistant to preventing the tampering of the drink by a third party. Oronamen C was sold in stores and vending machines and was widely seen. April 30th, 1985, a 45-year-old trucker from Hiroshima purchased a drink at a vending machine in the city. He noticed a bottle of Oronamen C on top of the machine. He grabbed it for himself and enjoyed the free drink. However, that drink would later prove to be fatal. He was admitted to the hospital and showed signs of being poisoned. It would later be discovered that he had a high level of Paraquat in his system. The medical staff tried to save him, but the Paraquat had done too much damage and he died a month later on May 30th. Paraquat is a chemical herbicide or weed killer that is highly toxic. It is one of the most common herbicides used currently, but has been banned in many countries due to its toxic effects. It can cause fatal poisoning when ingested or inhaled. Symptoms of Paraquat poisoning occur very quickly, usually immediately following the ingestion or inhalation of it. Even a small amount of Paraquat, such as a teaspoon of the active ingredient, can cause death up to 30 days later. Symptoms of Paraquat poisoning include throat and mouth swelling and pain. It induces damage instantly with direct contact, with more symptoms following later on, including nausea, abdominal pain, emesis, and blood and diarrhea. Other symptoms can develop such as lung scarring and organ failure. While swallowing or inhaling larger amounts will cause serious side effects more rapidly. Paraquat poisoning is regularly used to carry out suicide, especially in places that do not regulate it. Roughly 30% of suicides in the world are carried out by using pesticides to poison. It was easily bought due to the many small farms in Japan and it did not alter the taste of the beverage it was added to. Following the first death, the police had trouble finding leads and the case went cold. However, a while later in September of 1985, a 52-year-old man from Osaka had a similar experience after drinking a free drink from a vending machine. He died only a few days later. That month, four other people died from similar situations, but all in different regions of Japan. One in Mai, one in Fukai, one in Mayasaka, and the last in Osaka. The police decided to warn the public at the end of September by distributing pamphlets to the public warning retailers and customers of the poisoned drinks. This warning told the public to be cautious and examine bottled beverages for tampering before consuming and to report any suspicious behavior. It also cracked down on illegal purchasing of toxic chemicals and pesticides with better record keeping. This kept going on into October with another four people dying and finally the last two victims dying in November. The pattern the police noticed was that almost all the victims were male, while only the last victim being female. It is not known whether this was purely by chance or if the killer only targeted males. This was troubling to both the police and the public as there were no cameras, no witnesses, and no DNA testing at the time. Furthermore, the 12 victims were all killed in varying locations with no ties to one another, all seemingly completely random. Many speculated that the murder was either caught for another crime or something that happened to them. 
this day, no suspects have ever been taken in and no one has been apprehended for the crimes. The statute of limitations for poisoning in Japan is 15 years, meaning that it is past the maximum time for which legal actions can be taken. In the end, this caused Atsuka Pharmaceutical and many other companies to change the tamper-proof seals for their bottles, and they printed over a million warning labels for vending machines and bottles to warn people to be cautious and safe. The screw cap lid was replaced with a pull cap, which cannot be resealed after opening. Meanwhile, many countries have dyed Paraquat blue to keep it from being confused with other liquids, with many also adding sharp odors or as warnings and agents that cause vomiting when swallowed. This led to many copycat crimes, with one even occurring in an elementary school, however, nobody died. With another person contaminating at least two beverages, with sulfur and lime also not being fatal. Both people were never perpetrated. Thank you for watching our video. We would love to hear your feedback on our first couple of videos and what you would like to see going forward. Feel free to leave comments in the comment section to let us know. We are currently working on a couple of videos and we would like to have those out to you shortly. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. We look forward to making more of these in the future.